Wow, what a gift, you guys. Thank you. The kids are flying in because in Crossroads Church, baptism is a very, very important thing for all of us. That's so good. Yeah. So we have to call the family up this time. And just to remind you guys why we do baptism, to remind all of us why we do baptism, especially baptism. Through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated, we, and we are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation. And we are given a new birth through water and through the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without a price. Through the reaffirmation, for those of us that have been baptized, this reaffirmation of our faith renews our covenant declared at our baptism. And we are acknowledged of what God is doing for us, and it affirms our commitment to Christ's holy church. And so it is this time that I'm going to ask uh, for responses from the baptism family members, all of you. And your answers are really simple. You get to say, I do, and the last one will be an I will. All right? On behalf of the whole church, I will ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of the world, and repent of your sin? Please say, I do. I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord? And in union with the Church and with Christ that has opened the doors to all people of all ages, nations, and races, please say, I do. I do. I do. Good job, Theo. <laughs> According to the grace given to you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's Holy Church and serve as Christ's representatives to the world? This is the I will response. I will. I will. Awesome. Let us join together, all of us, in the profession of faith. It should be on the screen. With God's help, we will so order our lives after the example of Christ that this child, surrounded by steadfast love, may be established in the faith and confirmed and strengthened in a way that leads to life eternal. All right, Pastor Paul is going to help me here. One of the things we do, kids, is we pour water in this bowl, and it's a <laughs> sacred symbol that's been used for, for generations to remind us of God's presence in our life. In the time of creation, God used water, and he separated it from the land and said, this is good. In the time of Noah, there was this thing called the flood where God used water for cleansing because there was evil in the world. And so God used water once again and said that he would cleanse the world from all unrighteousness. In the time of Moses, there's a time where God parted this thing called the Red Sea so that the people could be delivered from slavery in Egypt, so water has a symbol of deliverance. Likewise, when they went into this new place called the Promised Land with Joshua, they parted the Jordan River and they were able to walk through to the promised land. Again, a reminder that God's presence was with them. And Jesus himself, when he was in that same Jordan River, was baptized by John. He went into the water and he came out and he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So we use this sacred symbol of water as a reminder of God's presence in the past and God's presence today and God's presence with this baby. Could you guys do me a favor, kids? Just put your hands out like this. It's a symbol that we're praying over this water, okay? Let's do this together. To God, pour out your Holy Spirit here upon this water this day that it'll be that tangible reminder of your love. Tangible reminder of the Holy Spirit that is in a part of this child's life and a part of this family's life. We pray for this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. What name do you give this child this day? 
Demita, full name? Sorry, Demita Davis Hill. Yeah, that's what it, good, we got it right. <laughs> good job, Mom. <laughs> Demita Davis Hill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we baptize you into the family of Christ. May God be with you today and forevermore. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Finish that prayer up good. Amen. Now, one of the traditions we have at Crossroads Church is we're going to hand Demita off to our um, children's director, Holly. She's going to bring her out into the congregation to be handed off to one of you. You will have to bring her back, especially since she's being so good today. Right, Molly? <laughs> Shante, right? Uh, and so this symbolizes... Oh, sorry. Did you want to explain? Sorry. This symbolizes that it takes a village. It takes this church to raise these babies in the faith. And so this signifies that Peggy, along with all of you, one day if you're called up to, to be her nursery care attendant or her Sunday school teacher, we are committing as a church to step up and raise our children in the faith. Right. Orvacation Bible School coming up next week. Oh, there's a good plug. They do need help. <laughs> oh, Let's know, welcome the newest member in the body of Christ. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations.